Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we're off to Axdale. Axdale is a small town in Victoria, Australia. It is located on the MacGyver Highway in the city of Greater Bendigo, east of Bendigo and 143 kilometers or 88.8 .8 miles northwest of Melbourne, the state capital. The town was surveyed and proclaimed in 1861. It was named after the Axdale Pastoral Run of 1840, and it also is near the Axe Creek, which joins the Campaspe River. It is thought that the Axe River in Dorsetshire, England, inspired the name. Axdale is on the road between the Bendigo and MacGyver goldfields, and itself a minor goldfield in 1858. The town is nestled alongside the Campaspe River, which feeds out of Lake Epilock. It has a golf course, tennis courts, a school, a pub, a convenience store and petrol station. It lies between Heathcote and Bendigo. Axdale has at least four churches, approximately one for every 220 residents of the town. In years past, it was host to the Titanic Museum, a home-based museum noted for charging fees to behold a 90 centimetre replica of the famous vessel. The Axdale Post Office opened on the 21st of April 1862. The town was served by the Axdale Railway Station on the Heathcote Railway Line from 1888 until 1941. In 2009, the Axdale Water Treatment Plant was upgraded and the town connected to the Bendigo water supply. In 2012, a new police station was opened. The town was the end point for the O'Keefe Rail Trail from Bendigo along the former railway reservation. In 2015, work was completed on extending the rail trail from Axdale to Heathcote. As part of the Campaspe River crossing, an underpass for the rail trail was also built under the MacGyver Highway. So if you intend to ride a bike and want to make a great journey of it from Bendigo to Heathcote, this is the trail you want to take and there's a lot to see along the way. And once again, what I will be doing on this video is go for a bit of a walk throughout the town and then at the end, we'll put that drone up and see what she looks like from above. So without further ado, let's take in the sights and sounds of Axdale. Now, just as a heads up and an idea, if you're looking for a venue, say for a wedding or a work do, or just a, a, a team sport get together, this pub's got a lot to offer because it's also got a lot of little areas that sort of segregated from the rest of the pub that you can probably hire out. I guess it's something you'll have to talk to the owners about. Um, I will put a link to their um, website in the description below, as with all the other information where I've sourced the photos and where I've got most of my um, voiceover information from.
Now, just a quick note, I just thought I'd bring this up. There must have been a lot of friction between the religious groups in Axdale for the Catholics to build a wall, a stone wall, around their part of the cemetery. I guess now they've got their own um, gated community for the deceased. Now, as noted, this is probably one of the nicest homesteads I've seen in quite some time. Definitely probably one of the best ones in the district that I've actually seen. Um, and it's one of the best managed ones. It's very well groomed. Everything's in order. I even like the, the, the rusty looking um, corrugated iron for the roof. It's good that they didn't just slap on a brand new shiny one on. Uh, it looks terrific. Now, just a quick note, if you're coming out to the Quarry uh, Hotel, or the former Quarry Hotel, it is abandoned, and I really recommend that you have some very sturdy uh, shoes on. Uh, a lot of the floorboards have gone. Uh, it is very rickety wherever I went. The roof is caved in, and there's a lot of um, overgrown and hidden obstacles in the garden. So if you are going to come out and venture out and have a look at this place, just use a lot of caution. There are snakes in the area, uh, cobwebs, and if you're into uh, spiders, well, there's plenty here for you. And just be careful. This is one building that is just too far gone, I think. Everything's pretty much been destroyed um, over time. And there's a lot of openings like this where if you're not concentrating, you could easily fall in. And I do believe that is the cellar.
So here we are nearing the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, by all means, click on that thumbs up icon or the like button and please subscribe. Subscribing really doesn't cost you one cent and it helps out the channel immensely. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe and have a great day.